Well, following the conclusion of the Robert Mueller investigation, Americans say they're ready for Congress to finally focus on working with the president to solve the nation's problems. One America's Pearson Sharp has more. Robert Mueller's crusade against President Trump is finally over. Now, leading Democrats, including Nancy Pelosi, are calling for an end to the impeachment witch hunt. But where does that leave the Democrats who denounced President Trump from day one, claiming to have incontrovertible evidence that Trump was colluding with the Russians? Where does that leave the Adam Schiff's? There is significant evidence, much of it in the public domain, on the issue of collusion. Uh, and the way I've described it is there is uh, circumstantial evidence, certainly, of collusion or coordination. Uh, there has been direct evidence of deception. There is more than circumstantial evidence now. So, um, again, I think... So you Director have Clapper, seen direct evidence of collusion? Uh, I don't want to go into specifics, but I will say that there is evidence that is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. The facts that are now established by this report are damning. Well, I think there's plenty of evidence of collusion or conspiracy in plain sight. If it's hiding in plain sight, to use Adam's own words, then where is it? After over two years of investigations with 40 FBI agents, 19 lawyers, intelligence analysts and forensic accountants, 228 subpoenas, 500 search warrants, 230 orders for communication records and over $25 million spent, where is this damning evidence that Schiff says he has? Why is it so hard to find? Perhaps because it doesn't exist, and it never did. Let's hear it from Robert Mueller himself on whether or not President Trump colluded with the Russians. Is it true the evidence gathered during your investigation did not establish that the president was involved in the underlying crime related to Russian election interference as stated in volume one, page seven? We found uh, insufficient uh, evidence of uh, the president's cul culpability uh, so that would be a yes. With that, I'm pardon? That would be a yes. Yes. That's, thank you. If that was hard to understand, you're not alone. What Mueller finally managed to admit was that, yes, his investigation was unable to find any evidence that President Trump was involved in any collusion with any Russians. But Democrats are claiming Mueller still didn't exonerate the president. But here's the problem with that. Mueller was a prosecutor, and prosecutors have never and never will exonerate anyone. It would be more accurate to say Mueller cannot exonerate President Trump because that's not Mueller's job. He doesn't have the ability to exonerate. So claiming that he hasn't exonerated President Trump is a meaningless statement. Now that Schiff, along with the 90 other Democrats who called for Trump to be impeached, without any evidence, have been left without a leg to stand on, where do they go from here? hopefully to their much neglected districts. Schiff's own district in Los Angeles has seen homelessness soaring for years while he does nothing but pursue conspiracy theories against our president. The tide has turned, and as California Representative Devin Nunez said, the hearing with Mueller was nothing more than a political theater for Democrats, their Hail Mary to get President Trump out of office. Perhaps now, finally, Democrats can turn their attention back to the very real problems facing our nation and begin to work with our president on making America great again. For One American News, I'm Pearson Sharp. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.